I recently uploaded a video where a kid was going through his entire morning routine in one continuous animated scene created entirely with AI. After I dropped it, messages started pouring in. You wanted to know exactly how I did it and today I'm showing you everything. Not some vague overview, I'm walking you through the full process step by step from script to visual, animation to final edit. The same way I created that virus scene and the same way you can too. We will be using 100% free or low cost AI tools. So let's get started. The first step, we need a story script. This is a foundation that we must lay very strong. You want something simple, something inspirational or educative like a kid waking up, brushing teeth, eating breakfast and heading to school because simplicity is God in kids content. So to write our story script, we head over to ChatGPT. And here I gave ChatGPT this long script which says write a short engaging educational story script for kids animated video. And here is the duration which you can change depending with what you want to come across then this should teach the morning activities we want our videos to be educational and it has to be fun and inspirational then here is the description of our character who is a girl and the video must include a clear morning routine sequence like waking up early, making the bed, brushing the teeth, washing your face, eating a healthy breakfast, getting dressed for the day. These are activities that every child must learn doing. Just like my mother always used to say, before you leave your room, you must make sure that it is tidy. Once it was done, ChatGPT wrote the entire story script for us. We've got the first scene where the character is waking up happily. And we've got the second scene where the character is making the bed. The third scene, our character is brushing their teeth. The fourth scene, our character is washing their face. And the fifth scene, our character is having their breakfast. And the sixth scene, our character is dressing up for the day. This was just so good, but it included some things that I never wanted, like the narrator and what my character has to say. So I went further and told ChatGPT, saying, there will be no narration, just images telling the story. And it extracted the narrator and the dialogue of our character. Then I went further to tell it to say great job and now for each scene give me prompts I will use to generate images for my character. These prompts must show the position of the character before the activity. This is very handy because before your character wakes up you want to show an image of your character lying down in bed. Then during animation you can specify the type of action you want to see your character doing. And ChatGPT went ahead and provided prompts that I can use to generate images in the exact posture that we wanted our character to be in during the image generation process. And I went further to tell ChatGPT to say write them in present continuous tenses. This is very handy, more especially in the video generating process. Now, one key point to take note of is that we may find out that we need our character to do a certain activity that ChatGPT didn't include here. What we can simply do is just use our creativity and tell the AI to we are using to help us generate that exact action or activity we want. Once we are done scripting, we need to generate a character for our story. And to do that, we can come over to OpenArt AI. Here, the first step is selecting character and selecting create character. You would love to build a brand with your character. You just don't want some random characters that keep changing over and over again, but you want the same consistent character to stand as your brand character. Here, what you simply have to do is click start with description. So there are three steps to creating a character. The first step is character details. Just give a name to your character. We'll call our character Lila. And here we need to paste in a description of our character. And here we need to choose a style of our character. Or we can simply type in a style of our choice. I go for 3D and hit create preview from the previewed characters. All I have to do is select the one that pleases me. If there is none, I can still click on regenerate to see the other characters that will be previewed that you will not be able to come back to these characters that you're seeing. Once you select your character, all you have to do is click create character. I have already created my character named Lily. 
So this is the one that we're going to use to create our images. So we'll click on create. From here, we need to select a prompt and a reference and we'll see the name of our character written down there. Here, what we simply need to do is to pass in those prompt that we generated in ChatGPT, the image prompts. So you go back to ChatGPT, copy the first prompt and go back to open it and paste the prompt here. From there, scroll down and choose the aspect ratio you're going to go for. I'll go for 16 by 9. From there, all we have to do is click create. So here is our image. I love the details and how the entire scene looks. Sometimes the AI tool can generate something off for you, something awkward or weird. Like here, our character looks to have like three legs behind. And same applies here. Our character has about three legs, I guess. So we just need to take our time and try again until we get the perfect results that we're looking for. From here, I would love you to follow me carefully. So this is the image of the first scene. Now, before we go ahead and generate a second image for the second scene, what I would love us to do, first of all, is to convert this image into an animated video. All we have to do is click on this video icon from here. I would love us to select a mode that we're going to create our video in. I'll go for clean 2.1 and from here we need to paste in a prompt that describes the action happening. So what we simply have to do is go back to ChatGPT and scroll down to the first scene where the prompt says our character is waking up in bed. Copy this part, go back to open up AI and paste that prompt here. From there, I would love the duration to remain at 5 seconds and the quality mode to be master. And all I have to do is add some negative prompts like blurry, weird hands, distorted, AI generated movements. Once that is done, all we have to do is click create. The image has been converted into a video. Let me play it for you to see exactly how it looks. Okay, this is just so perfect. Our character is waking up from her bed. Now, from here, we need the action to continue from where she is to getting down and preparing her bed. And these are prompts that ChatGPT did not provide for us. So we need to just be a little creative. Now, to achieve this, what we simply have to do is, number one, download this video into our PC. Once the video is downloaded, we need to come to Video Frame Extractor. Here, what we need to do is upload our video. Just drag and drop your video file. From here, our goal is to extract this final frame. This is the same frame that we're going to use telling the AI2 that we want our character to stand up from where she is and do the next action. So here, all we have to do is head extract frame. Okay, as we can see, here is our extracted frame. This was our first frame and this is our final frame. What we simply have to do is click the download button here to save this frame into our PC. Now, from here, we go back to open up AI, close this tab and we delete this image, which is here. And we upload the image we've just extracted. From here, we need to paste in a prompt that describes the action we want our character to do. For example, here we can say she gets down from her bed and prepares it. And from there, we hit create. Once our video is generated, let's play to see how it looks. There is our character waking up, preparing and dressing her bed. Okay, this was a 10 second video that I created. And this was a 5 second video that I created. Okay, I think I love the 5 second one. So what we simply have to do from here is download this video into our PC. Once our video is downloaded, each and every time we extract the frame, the image happens to lose its quality. So what we want to do from here is extract the final frame from this image and make it as our last frame from this entire scene. So what we want to do is make our character leave the room as the camera will be following her from behind so that we can transition to the next scene where she goes into the bathroom, brushing her teeth, washing her face. So we come back to video frame extractor. We upload our video file. Again, we'll go to the last frame. Then we click extract. Also, image is extracted. We download it. Now, from here, I would encourage you to upscale your image and see the difference you get. Once you download the video, go back to open up AI, delete the current video and drag and drop the one you've just extracted. From here, we paste in a prompt that says our character leaves the room and goes to the bathroom. So so that we can transition to the next scene and hit create. Our video is generated. Let me play it for you to see the way it looks. Let, let, let's watch it. 
<laughs> okay, there is our character. Now that she's gone, it gives us the opportunity to transition to another scene where we can generate a high quality. But if you notice that the images you're extracting are losing quality, you can play with them in Photoshop or any image editor so that you gain that quality and keep that consistency and that resolution across the entire video. Now that our character is out of scene, we can go back to ChatGPT, copy the next prompt where our character is brushing her teeth in the bathroom, go back to open up AI, close this tab, delete this prompt and paste in the new prompt and from there we just click create. There is our character. All we have to do is turn this image into a video. So I click on the video icon here. We go back to ChatGPT and copy the exact prompt that describes the action our character will be doing. So we paste in that prompt here. Make sure that clean is selected. We type in the negative prompts and we hit create. Okay, how video has been generated? Perfect. This is amazing. If you're enjoying what you're seeing, consider subscribing to our channel because more value awaits you. So what we simply have to do again is repeat the same process I just showed you in the previous videos. We download this video into our PC, then we go back to frameextractor.com, we upload the video we've just downloaded, we go to the last second of the video, which is the fourth second, then we click on extract frame. Once it extracts a last frame from our video, we download it into our PC. Once we download it, we go back to open up AI, close this tab, we delete the image that is there, and we upload the image we've just extracted. From here, we tell the AI too that our character has finished brushing her teeth and she walks out of the bathroom. We leave all the settings just like the way they are and we click create. Okay, there is our character. She has finished brushing her teeth and she walks out of the bathroom. This is just so amazing. So what we simply do is we download this video into our PC then we go to the next scene. So what you have to do from here is repeat the same process until you are done. Once you are done, the final thing is assembling these videos. Use any editing tool of your choice or any editing tool available in your location. So I'll open CapCut. What we'll simply do is upload the video files that we've just generated. Once they are uploaded, the next thing that we need to do is to download a background music. Use YouTube or any pet tool that you know where you can download free background music. We drag and drop the music that we've just generated and it will be the first one to drag on the timeline. So we bring it here on the timeline. Then we begin arranging our media files in a chronological order. We start with the first one. Like I mentioned earlier, as you're extracting your image from the video, it happens to start losing quality and color that it had at the beginning. So what you can simply do is play with the color of your video to just make it match and sort all the videos that you have. From there, all I can ask and encourage you to do is download some sound effects. Once you're done, upload the sound effects into CapCut and place them exactly where you would love them to be. Once you're done, you can add in a narrator that's if you want to, but I'll end from here. You can get creative from here and make your video more appealing to your audience. If you have any question, let me know in the comment section below. If you have any challenge, let me know in the comment section below. I would really love to help out where I can and I would really love to hear your thoughts. From here, God bless you. Let me see you in this next amazing animated content.